What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we need to talk about the Moonlight Fair, the new event that we have this week. It's the two-week mid-autumn festival event. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of good stuff to say about this event. I would probably rank this up there as like one of the best two to three events we've had in the past year, up there with probably Christmas and Chinese New Year. We have a ton of free to play rewards. We have some good low spender rewards. We have great mid spender rewards and we have really good whale rewards. So it's kind of like it hits the checkbox across the board, no matter what type of player you are, free to play, low, mid, high spender, whatever. This event is gonna reward you no matter what. So let's jump into it. I wanna take this time, go over the event, and discuss what you should really invest your starlight orbs in uh, i see a lot of people tons of people reddit discord youtube comments should i get antlers cane should i get puppets should i get hero copies hopefully we're going to address that in this video for you guys no matter where you are in the game so i want to make sure i get your advice or give give you my advice there we go give you my advice so that you guys hopefully don't have too many questions and hopefully don't make any bad decisions. So let's jump on over into the game and let's take a look at the event. All right, guys, so here it is, the Moonlight Fair. Idle Continent Moonlight Fair is open for a limited time. It is open for two weeks, guys. So one thing you can always tell is down the bottom here, there is a timer. Um, you can also see it kind of right here. They're, they're not exactly the same timer. There's a little leeway on uh, the VIP event and the autumn check-in event the main fair where you're going to purchase everything that one's going to be the shortest so this one ends next thursday i believe so there's a lot of good rewards let's kind of go over the rewards first and foremost antlers cane pay to win artifact pretty much top tier pve artifact in general of course there's certain heroes that want other artifacts in pve but overall antlers cane is a probably now lower tier pay to win artifact but at the end of the day it's a pay to win artifact it's an ormus artifact you can upgrade it you upgrade it three times you can get nine percent extra damage per round so towards the end you're getting tons of bonuses um we'll go over it a little bit more but definitely a pickup honestly no matter who you are uh the rest you can get two as far as the puppets go i really hate how this doesn't drag up how it's got this imaginary line right here this 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 vanishing line i hate it but um yeah so we have 10 star puppets nine star puppets i would stay away from that honestly food comes very easily even for the lower spenders um maybe consider the dummies maybe i don't like it personally even on my lower tier accounts, my free to play, all that, I really, I'm, I'm not hunting the dummies, I'm hunting copies more than anything, especially since I wanna be saving relics for artifacts nowadays, so maybe grab these. There are the light and dark six star puppets though. Those are very good value. Maybe not as good value as it would be in the past because you can technically farm them in Celestial Island now, so maybe, uh, all of these normal faction six stars. Oh, geez. Don't click the button, Barry. Don't make a mistake. I don't have enough yet, though. So I don't have to sweat too much. Don't touch these. The regular six stars are absolutely not worth it. But what are worth it are these two chests here in the middle. Each one you can get two of. So you have the light and dark five star chest. You can get the Drake. You can get the Russell. Maybe a carry too, but really these three are the only ones you should ever really use this for right now. They're the only heroes that are in the meta more so Russell out of all of them and then maybe carry after that and then of course you have the hero selection chest here but guys you ready to see this it's got Rogan in it and Sherlock sadly no ticks copy not in this one there's another chest that does have a ticks but as far as the event goes uh you can get Rogan copies of course you can get this chest with Rogan in it as well in Imp's Adventure this week if it's something you're looking to build uh, Rogan is more of a late game support hero. He's not someone you should build too early on your account. You want to build Rogan's once you can finally utilize his extra speed he will give your team to give you that little bit of edge over the enemy carry, something like that. So these two, they're definitely good uh, options to pick. 
Uh, nowadays, since we have these light and dark chests, the value of elite five star shards and dark shards have really dropped because you can always get bad copies in them. So not a great idea. Um, everything down the bottom here, stay away from unless you have leftover ones, then probably grab some scrolls for potential heroic summoning events down the road. It looks like you can get what 50 scrolls. Not too bad. Not too bad. But um, yeah, mainly what you're going to be hunting for are these two chests here in the middle after you get an antler's cane. In my opinion, I know there's probably varying opinions, but pay to win artifacts, they never go away, guys. Heroes come and go from the meta. I mean, even Garuda's dropping out of the meta. Sherlock's are kind of dropping out of the meta, depending on where you are in the game. So it's like, do you want to invest in hero copies for heroes that might not stay around the meta? Or do you want to invest in an antler's cane, an artifact that you're going to have forever that you can use to upgrade other antler's canes to Ormus versions, glittery, radiant, splendid to do more PVE damage. Granted, you don't really need it right now in PVE, but you never know. There might be a PVE mode that you really want that extra damage from. There might be a hero in the future that extremely excels with the, uh, with the skill damage and it's like best in slot. You don't know. In my opinion, the best thing to do in game right now is just collect pay to win artifacts, even if you're not using it right away. Uh, relics, again, uh, I'm to the point where we're getting so many of chests like these for hero copies. I really don't think you should buy hero copies that much anymore with relics anymore either, no matter where you are in the game. I think relics should now on be used specifically for glorious boost. Artifacts are by far the best value in the game or relics in my opinion Maybe if you need like one or two extra copies to finish an e5 of a hero Then yeah, if it's a lighter if it's like Russell and you need two more copies Then maybe go into the relic store and buy a copy or two of, of Russell But overall relics should be used for artifacts events should be used for artifacts You should just be collecting these you really really should maybe if you already have a splendid antlers cane you can pass but I mean, you want to future-proof yourself. So, how do we get all of these starlight orbs? Well, if you click on the orb right here in the top right corner, it will tell you exactly how. Now, remember, first things first, this is a two-week event. So, completely ignore the heroic summoning for now. Do not summon this week if you plan on using scrolls. And only use scrolls if you plan on building the new forest hero. We don't know who the forest hero quite is yet, but we were spoiled that it is a forest hero. Hero. So, how are you going to get it? You are going to get them by using Imp's Adventure Dice. Not too bad. You can get up to 2,000. Yeah, that's really good. So, if you do 400 dice, which is, I mean, that's that's fully buying out the event, you can get up to 2,000. But even if you just do, what is it, 78, you can get between the free ones, the shelter ones, and the gem purchase ones. Uh, you can get, like, almost 400 here, I think. Is that right? Is that good math? It's about that. It's very close to 400 you can get here. Heroic Scrolls, unless you're building the hero, doing at least 1,000 and maybe a couple keys next week, I would stay away from, especially free play, I would just keep saving those Heroic Scrolls for Christmas or Chinese New Year. Light and Dark Heroes. Arena Tickets, that's really easy. 300 fights. Shouldn't be that bad, especially since we do have Trial of Champion this weekend. Now, Gold and Spirit, that can be a struggle for some of you guys out there. I know a lot of people don't have unlimited resources or they haven't saved or they just upgraded their team to 345 and now they're all out of resources but if you can manage to get your resources back and use 300 million gold and spirit you're going to be getting 600 more resources and then of course using gems will get it for you as well the easiest way to do that is buy the uh 30 dice from imps adventure that will cover you here and that'll cover you for pretty much everything you want here so if at time guys if you do the gems if you do the spirit the gold the arena tickets and all the dice including the gem purchase dice you will end up with i believe wait hold on what is that that's three six nine twelve you'll end up like almost 1600 dice which means you will have enough for that antlers cane plus 100 more of course there's not much to grab for 100 so at that point you probably want to just grab some heroic scrolls uh, but you can 100% get an antlers cane completely free to play this week, which 
That's why I think it's absolutely amazing. Next up, we have the mid-autumn check-in. You have to log in. You have to click right here, the mid-autumn celebration, top right corner, and come over here to check-in. Every single day, you need to click this check-in button. It doesn't automatically do it for you. It doesn't credit you if you open the game but don't check in. Every single day. Come in here, hit check-in because you're going to be getting relics, five-star shards, resources, gold, profit orbs, Ooh, I want those promotion stones, but mainly you're going to be getting 20 relics just for free, just for logging into the game, doing nothing else except clicking a button. You're going to get 20 relics, which is too bad if I do say so myself. Let's jump on down to the mid autumn package. This is the one where it's going to give you the nice new dragon maiden skin for Ignis. Really cool, but if you don't have her, don't worry about it. Uh, you do get a decent amount of scrolls and dice for the money. But again, 50 bucks, it just depends on if you're a spender or not. If you're not, stay away from it. It's perfectly fine. But speaking of spending, this is the VIP reward. So you have to gain VIP experience during the event. If you get it during the event, you will get these rewards. And these rewards are very, very good value. Value, guys. DH value-wise, you know, it's, it's still expensive. And I'm not going to try to justify the expense to a lot of you out there. A lot of you don't even bother with this if you're not a spender. But there are some ways to kind of cheat the system and prepay like your privilege cards. We'll go over that in a minute. But let's go over the rewards for uh, 500 points. So in case you guys are wondering, the easiest way, look at the value packages. 500 points is $10. So every 500 points is going to be $10 in this VIP. So for $10, you get scrolls and elite five-star dark shards. Or, uh, what's that? $30, you get the new Ithaca skin as well, which is pretty awesome as well. This is where it gets really good, though. So for $50, you're going to get a hero selection chest. But this one actually has Ignis and Tix in it. So that makes it a lot better than the normal five-star chest you see. Plus, you get 30 relics. Once you get up to $100, you're going to get a light and dark chest, which has all the heroes. Plus 40 more. And this is the big one right here, guys. At $200 you are going to get that mysterious artifact chest to let you pick any pay to win artifact you want plus 80 feathers that's where most people should stop probably especially the mid spenders even the low spenders i know it's a little high but if you can swing it with a couple of the ways that we're going to talk about here in a minute it's worth it there are two further of course this one the dummy not really worth much but the 100 relics is great and then if you spend $500, you are going to get a second artifact chest. That is crazy. Plus 150 relics. So just to put it in perspective, again, DH Games value here, guys. Not real life value, but DH Games Idle Heroes value. This is an amazing, amazing deal. You're going to get two pay to win artifacts. You're going to get 400 relics, which is the, essentially another glorious boost event. And you're going to get Antler's Cane, which means you get four pay to win artifacts for $500 plus tons of extra things as well. You're going to get all those relics. You're going to get scrolls. You're going to get all a bunch of different things. You're going to be able to buy more things in Moonlight Fair, which means you'll probably be able to get the Antler's Cane plus the light and dark chest plus the regular chest. There's a lot of stuff you're going to get. And on top of that, if you really want to, Imp's Adventure Value Packs will have more Starlight Orbs. Um... Yeah, so pretty good. There's there's a lot of ways to get a lot of great loot this event. Like I said, even if you're free to play, there's tons of free stuff you can get that are amazing. If you whale, there's tons of good things you can get for whaling. And anywhere and everywhere in between, it is good. I'll, I'll do it again, guys. Good value. <laughs> so, yeah, I know you guys like harping on me on value. But I, I try to just say it how it is as far as what we are used to in the game. Uh, so there's one way I'll try to explain it. We've done it in the past because this chest right here for $200, we saw that earlier this year as well. And there is kind of a way to cheat out and get this here. So if you want to prepay and you see, I still have 30 days left. That's because I literally had like six months worth of cards that I purchased. If you want to, you can repeatedly buy the senior privilege card and or the regular privilege card. I always buy both, uh, but you can purchase them months in advance so last time this event came around i didn't spend anything on the event what i did is i bought both of these cards for like a long extended period of time so every time you buy this it'll add 30 days 
to the remainder here. So I know a lot of people in the past did this. They literally bought a full year of monthly privilege cards, but you can do it as long as you're good. And as long as you're financially stable and you can make 10 purchases of both cards together here, that's your $200. That's your VIP points that you need. Okay. Thank you. Windows update. Thank you. But uh, that'll give you enough to get this chest right here. And that way you're not spending on events. You're literally just pre-purchasing almost like a subscription for a year into idle heroes. So you really have to decide if that's for you. So you kind of have to decide, do you want to spend it this week on imps adventure next week? I imagine you might want to buy it for the heroic summoning scrolls. If you are investing in that next hero. So there's a lot of great things about this event. Honestly, the biggest thing free antlers game. I love it. So hopefully this gave you a little bit of insight and a little bit of input on what you should do on your account as well. Let me know what you think about the event. You know, my opinion, every one of my accounts is loving it. My free to play is loving it. My low spenders and loving it. My former whale slash free to play account now is loving it. And of course the whale account is going to love it too. The, the lights army is going to love this event. So let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button too, guys. We have two giveaways going on right now. We're going to do both of them once we get to 24,000 subscribers. We're already over a third of the way there. So let's keep on growing, guys. Thank you so much for the support. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.